Good morning, folks. We have some can't miss stories today. We're going to identify some science goofs as well. And we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. The last day on the sun was still relatively quiet, but with growing activity. While the coronal hole stream is ending here at Earth after producing only minor geomagnetic effects, the sunspots continue to slowly ramp up here on the rise to sunspot maximum. X-ray production of what are still minor flares is crackling at those active regions. This is 131 angstroms, which catches both the ultraviolet of other SDO wavelengths, but also some of those higher flare energies. Speaking of which, there's a new video out by NASA and it's really grinding my gears this morning. The Rosetta Stone solar eruption is literally nothing. I was flabbergasted at the initial identification of the flare as such, but they call it that because they were astounded to see both a coronal mass ejection and a partial failed eruption where some of the material came back down. They say that seeing both of these in one solar event can help them learn about all solar eruptions, but what are they talking about? In almost every CME I have ever seen, there are components of the plasma that fail to erupt. Heck, yesterday in the 10 years ago flare, tons of plasma failed to get out of the corona. Now while that was an X-class flare, we also see this with filament eruptions. The entire filament never leaves the corona, ever. By their definition, every solar eruption ever is a Rosetta Stone eruption. Ding dongs. Looking back in time next, we notice a solar flare-driven spike about 7,500 years ago. This is the sort of dating that likely overestimates age a bit, but still, the more they look, the more they find super-level flares in the past, upping the frequency with which those events are likely to occur. And right now, by the way, the entire field says it's somewhere around 150 to 200 years on our star, and we're 162 years since the last solar super-flare. Folks, we've got the best shots of Ganymede ever taken, at least by humans. Juno flew by a close approach and snapped these shots on June 7th. Remember, Ganymede has a water ice crust and its own magnetic field. Normally, this is where I'd make a comment about astronomers being surprised again, rewriting what they used to think, but the ALMA radio return of nearby galaxies might be too pretty to care. Not quite. The thing they are rewriting is that all star-forming galaxies look alike like they've never looked at even a handful of galaxies to see that they come in more shapes and sizes than people on this planet. Rounding the corner to excellent news and the bajillionth confirmation of pre-seismic electromagnetic anomalies. Veteran earthquake forecasters use either total electron content, which they used in this paper, ionospheric critical frequency, or the global electric circuit like we do at quakewatch.net. Last but not least, I am loving this paper that's trying to recognize and realign major events in different corings. They've got examples on the Mono Lake and Lachamp geomagnetic events, and below at the arrows, you can see how they recognize there is a matchup problem that needs to be fixed. We see the events don't show up in every coring problem as we head back in time, but also look at how well the last glacial maximum and Lake Mungo geomagnetic event show up. You can spot Helena Poly as well as Gothenburg, which only show up as minor deviations here. The NOAA event shows up in a couple of the corings, the one without missing data at that time anyway. And all of them show the modern descent towards the next event, as it's well underway right now. We greatly appreciate your support. 12,000-year magnetic cycle and 6,000-year half-cycle harmonics. We're 12,000 and 6,000 years away from the last ones, respectively. And Earth's magnetic field is shifting again now. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.